I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. Our whole country's upside down. <laughs> Sleep don't come easy. Since you listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to this place I call the Madhouse. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, happy um, uh, uh, holidays for those of y'all who celebrate 4th of July, America's birthday. Y'all know we ain't got no reasons. None of us, because we don't know what type of uh, road we're on right now. It's been a long time since we've been on this road. However, let me continue to bring forth this madness to y'all. Because this one, this story right here really got me. I said, oh my God. No, 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 y'all not trying to go for her. They said there's only one candidate right now that they can see that can beat Joe Biden. Uh, right now, the person, well, you know, you can't always go by these polls, either, right? But let's just do it anyway for the sake of having a video. Um, yeah, they out there tripping. Anyway, they said it's only one person that can make all these shenanigans go away. Every last one of them. And who might that person be? You probably ask it. Well, <laughs> they, they done throw her in the mix. She done already told you she don't want to be bothered with this. She done been through it for eight years and she done with it. But the leaked internal polling from the Democratic Party came out this week. Showing that since last Thursday's debate, which y'all already know, President President Biden has lost ground in every single swing state in the United States. And in fact, is now losing every single swing state in the, um, in the United States. If the election were held today, Donald Trump would easily cruise to a landslide with more than 300 electoral college votes. Trump would win the popular vote and he will win the electoral college. There would be no doubt about it. There would be no question whatsoever, no claims of a stolen election either. Okay. Um, he, you don't have to worry about him going there because he had a proof that he, he didn't already won. Um, <laughs> Trump is killing Biden in the polls, according to the polls from the Democratic Party itself. And as such, immediately, you know, once these polls came out, everybody started panicking. Okay, and the Democratic Party is known for panicking anyway. Hell, but they, they just like, hey, what would we gonna do? What we gonna do, Cletus? Cletus, what we gonna do? The Las Vegas odds are now favoring Vice President Kamala Harris to take over for President Biden. At the top of the ticket, uh, polls are showing that she is most likely that will take over after Joe Biden. I don't think we're ready for Kamala Harris. I don't think that Geechee is the proper person to put in that position. Um, And no, I'm already rejecting it, pushing back from it. But hey, that's just me. Unfortunately, though, polls also show that she would get trounced by Donald Trump. So maybe it's some truth to that. So what, by the way, Democratic governors, Gavin Newsom, Gretchen Whitmer, who everybody's talking about, Andy Brashear, J.B. Pritzker, so would uh, Pete Buttigieg, all of them uh, would be uh, would lose to him. 
So, oh my God, is there no Democratic capable in this whole country of beating Donald Trump in the general election? I thought that um, Joe Biden could, uh, even though, you know, he got one foot on the uh, on the ground, one and a, I mean, a half a foot on the ground, and one and a half on a banana peel. Okay. But if there's one Democrat, according to these polls, that not only beats Donald Trump, but beats him by double digits, by more than seven points ahead of the margin for error for this poll. And so who is this mystery savior, y'all may be wondering? Who, pray tell, is it? I want to know. I want to know her name. It's Michelle Mother Obama. In these same polls that show Biden loses, Harris loses, Buttigieg loses, Newsom loses, loses, Whitmer loses, Pritzker loses, Bashir loses. Mo Michelle Obama destroys Donald Trump in the general election by 11 points. Oh, now you want the Negro to save America. Negro, we got to save America again? Do we have to save this? Okay, listen. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm saying, okay, with stipulations, of course. I'm always the optimist. If you want my girl, Michelle, what you willing to give up? Qualified immunity coming down from the federal department. You kill an unarmed black child, woman, or man, your ass go to jail, they sue you, and your life is over, just like the person's life that you took. Let's start right there. Ain't no way in hell you're going to get a nigger to, to save America unless y'all willing to Save uh, some uh, uh, us. Okay? Otherwise, you can take your head and stick it up your kulu. Anyway, this is freaking gigantic. Michelle destroys Donald Trump in the general election by 11 points, 50% to 39%. And that is freaking gigantic. Now, the problem, of course, with that is Michelle has never herself held an office. You don't worry, because, hell, Hillary was back there after her husband won. Um, she was, however, the first lady for eight years. And I do trust that she is smart. Oh, I know she's smart. She knows how things work. And I don't think she would be a bad pick at all. In fact, she's Ados. Okay? And that's who we need to run this piece. Ados. No more people that uh a, a color. No more of that watered down madness. Let's get Ados up in here. So we can have so a simulant. <laughs> a fair play. Other than that. This hand basket is already headed in the direction that it's going. And uh, I know it. The bigger problem, however, is that Michelle has never once in her life expressed any interest in actually running for president. In fact, she made it clear this year, like, I'm not. Like, what are y'all even talking about? Like, why are you fucking with me? Okay. Oh, she didn't say that part. That was me. Why are you... Why are you talking about it? I'm not going to do that. And, you know, because Michelle isn't too fond of the Bidens, by the way. They don't, she don't like how Hunter Biden treated his first wife and how the Bidens allowed that um, and try to, you know, shun her off because she said, what kind of hellhole she lived with uh, Biden. With him having uh, relations with prostitutes and all that kind of stuff and coming back to her and wish she had every right 
to talk about. Michelle didn't like how they treated her. And a lot of people don't like how they they treated her, uh, Biden, I mean, uh, Hunter's illegitimate child. So they called, right? She's not legitimate. She ain't no real baby. She's illegitimate. Only in America. When she has made it crystal clear that she doesn't want to do it, that's not who she is. That's not what she, she is. That's not what she's about. She's smart, she's strong, she's capable, she's fierce, and she's compassionate. And I really do believe she's a good person. I genuinely, really, really like Michelle Obama. But y'all think she went up on this crap? I mean, again, she's never suggested that she wants to do this. But she may be our only hope. So, what do we do? I don't have an answer to that. But the public is saying something and they saying we want Michelle. We like her. And that's interesting. Because she's Adolf's. And it's a difference between her and Kakobans. <laughs> the laughing hyena. Kamala Harris. So, Michelle, if you're listening, if you're watching, you may be the only hope that the Democratic Party has to save America. You're the only hope. Here we go, got to save America again. But this time, we're going to get a return. Otherwise, all this shit can burn up. Because that's what's going to happen. We're going to go down the drain and if you want Adolf's help, more particular Michelle Obama, mm -mm, it ain't going to be no good old, old boys network like y'all think. Come on, drive the donor money in if that's what y'all want. Michelle, you got a decision to make. Either it's going to be America for all people, all people, not just white people, all people. Or it's going to be like all the other great empires. It's going to fail. What say y'all? Uh, this is uh, an article of actually uh, from a Farron. Um, <laughs> a Ring of Fire. Okay. That's who's a uh, site that came from. Fair and balanced reporting. I thank you for this little uh, alert. Anyway, what say y'all about this? Is it me? Is it me? Or is this about what sounds right? Either Adolf's got to come and save the day, or it's all got to burn up. I don't know. What say y'all? Please leave your comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.